Let us now discuss the hydraulic energy that is required for lifting water from a lower level to a higher level, that is for pumping water. Now let us say we have a mass which weighs m, m kgs and you want to lift it to a height h. So we want to bring this mass to this place here which is at a height h from the original location. So you have increased the potential energy in doing so and this energy is given by m g h that is you are going to do force against this gravitational acceleration so it has to be lifted against the gravity and uh, you are putting energy into it to lift it and that is mass mass of this body g into h the height to which it is lifted so this is in joules so instead of it just being some mass let us say this is a water body so the water body the mass let us say can be expressed as density into volume density of water rho into the volume q density of water in si units expressed as kg per meter cube and this is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube for water and uh, uh, Q is called the discharge volume and this is expressed in meter cube. So if you substitute it here for mass as rho into Q, you will see that energy is given by mgh which is equal to rho QGH joules. For water, rho is the density for water which uh, is 100 kg per cubic meter. So let us put that down. Q is a variable. G is 9.81 meter per second square. And Q and H are variables. This is joules. So if you say 9.81 is approximately 10, you can easily remember it by putting it as 10 to the power of 4 into q into h joules where q is in meter cube h is in meter so many uh, most of the times you would like to express energy in units one unit is 1 kilowatt hour which is 1 kilowatt is 1000 watts and one hour is 3600 seconds. So 3.6 into 10 to the power of 6 watt seconds or joules. So you can substitute it here and then you can write it as E is equal to 1000 into 9.81 by QH joules and 1000 to 9.81 qh by 3.6 10 to the power of 6 if you want to express it as kilowatt hours so this because 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 10 to the power of 6 watt second so you can express it in this fashion this will turn out to be 2.725 into 10 to the power of minus 3 qh kilowatt hours so this is one way in which you will find in uh, literature the hydraulic energy is given as 2.725 10 to the power of minus 3 qh q is in meter cube h is in meters in this expression q is expressed in meter cube however a much more general and common unit of Q is liters. 
and it is much easier to imagine in liters than in meter cube the relationship between liters and meter cube is 1000 liters is 1 meter cube and uh, therefore if you want to express this equation where q is expressed in liters so all you have to do is 2.725 10 to the power of minus 6 instead of minus 3 make it minus 6 q by 1000 basically so uh, and q uh, into h kilowatt hours where now q is expressed in liters h is in meters as usual so this is another expression which people use because they are able to imagine much better in liters they would like to have an expression um, where q the discharge volume is in uh, liters rather than cubic meter another common and very popular method of uh, uh, popular expression for expressing this hydraulic energy is as follows 1000 into 9.81 that is rho density into g 9.81 meters per second square and q in a meter cube h in meter joules q is in meter cube now we would like to express this q in liters rather than meter cube so q by thousand uh, will uh, come into the picture if you want to express in liters so 1000 to 9.81 meter per second square acceleration due to gravity now q liters by thousand will make it meter cube into h in meters joules so the very nice thing about this expression is this thousand and thousand will cancel off so you have nine 0.81 q in liters into h 9.81 q h and if you take this approximately equal to 10 you will get a very nice relationship to remember 10 into q into h joules where q is expressed in units of liters h is in meters that's a nice relationship to remember the hydraulic energy Knowing hydraulic energy, we can now estimate the hydraulic power. Hydraulic power is needed uh, to rate the pumps and the motors and the power electronics downstream up to the PV panel. So, pH hydraulic power is nothing but d by dt of the hydraulic energy, and this is d by dt of rho q g h which is the hydraulic energy now rho which is the density 1000 kg per meter cube g which is the acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meter per second square they are constants h for a given application the uh, total dynamic head is a constant fixed the only variable would be q so we can bring them out and then d Q by dt. Now dq by dt is called the discharge rate. The, uh, is the volume that is uh, moved out uh, that is flowing through the pipes or the water pumping system uh, per unit time. So this discharge rate or the flow rate uh, is a quantity that is measurable and quantity that is uh, that uh, is also a requirement from the user perspective when you are designing a water pumping system so this is expressed in watts so rho q dot g h watts we can now we know that rho is 100 we will put that down 9.81 for g q dot h expressed in watts now here q dot is in a meter cube per second si units this is the volume discharge every second h is as usual expressed in meters and if you want to express q dot in liters per second 
then divide by thousand so this thousand that uh, and the thousand for the liters conversion will get cancelled so you will land up with 9.81 q dot h watts where q dot now is expressed in liters per second a much more nicer way would be 10 q dot h watts a bit up approximate but a very elegant way of expressing the hydraulic power so hydraulic power we know is approximately 10 q dot h q dot the discharge rate or the flow rate is obtained from the application liters per second and this depends upon how much liters of water you want to transfer from the lower level to the higher level or how much liters of water you need for irrigating a given piece of land so this um, spec this value comes from the user requirement h as we know is the dynamic head in meters which is a combination of the suction head addition of suction head the discharge head or the delivery head and also another component which is an equivalent head representing the friction loss in the pipe now how do we estimate this these heads because then only you will be able to calculate the power requirement for that application.